Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eddie, and I'm a 17-year-old high school student. I, um, I just started commentating back in March, and I really haven't had any help like this, uh, being able to post on someone with more subscribers' channels until now, so thank you to Norco HD for allowing me to do this. I uh, love people like this in the community. They give others chances, and uh, you are definitely one of them, man. Thank you, and uh, really, really appreciate it. So today for you guys, I got a game on, uh, I think this is Scrapyard. Um, using the Scar H with, um, I think it's a silencer on there. Uh, I'm not really in front of my computer right now watching it. So, uh, yeah, it's a silencer. I just turned my head to look at it. But um, this is my try-hard class. I really consider myself a try-hard, a natural try-hard, I should say. I try to get away from those roots, but you know, unfortunately, I always come back to it. And Well, not unfortunately. I always seem to do good with this class, but... I have the 7-11-25 killstreak set up, I believe, I'm pretty sure at least. Um, and I'm not positive if I get a nuke in this game, but I do have a pretty nice KD. It said that in the folder that I named it, so uh, I'm going to upload it for you guys. Uh, you guys may notice that I am more of a defensive player, and there is a big, big debate on defensive, camp uh, defensive playing and camping. Uh, camping and defensive gameplay are completely different, guys. Just uh, thought I'd talk about that in this commentary just to give you guys an idea of how I approach games and how I believe campers approach games. And I'm going to use two big names from the community uh, that I'm pretty sure everyone, if they like commentaries, is familiar with. Um, not really sure if you guys are going to know one of them, but chances are some of you will. Uh, the first person I'm going to bring up who is a natural camper, he admits it, Wings of Redemption, 75,000, 76,000 subscribers, something like that. You guys should all know him. He admits to be being a camper. Uh, his play, gameplay shows it. And camping to me is sitting in one specific room or one specific house, not moving, using claymores to pretty much box yourself in and guarantee you safety. And you snipe or just constantly wait for people to run by. That's camping, guys. Not saying it's, you know, it, I think it is a kind of cheap way to win. It's fair though. I prefer a you know a camper to a booster. They're not really cheating. They're just playing the game um, much more bitchy. I want to say, but defensive playing is someone like the Mark of J. And if you guys are familiar with uh, or not familiar with the Mark of J, then uh, I'll use C Nanners because C Nanners is also a very defensive player. C Nanners uses claymores, but C Nanners is constantly moving around wherever he's patrolling. And that's what defensive play is. It's just basically patrolling. And if you guys want to really get good at this game and not be considered a pussy, definitely uh, try to look up uh, some more C Nanners gameplay. Check out my gameplays on my channel if you'd like that. I think the link is going to be in the description. I'm pretty sure I'll put it in the description. But, um, and this gameplay right here is pretty defensive, in my opinion. I'm, I mean, I'm moving, but. Uh, I'm not moving directly into their spawn. I'm not being retarded and just, just charging in there with, you know, you know, friggin' an SMG. I don't really think that's a proper way to play. I mean, it's a fun way to play. It's something different. And I could do it if I wanted to, but I prefer to get high KDs, guys. I am a kill-death whore. Um, there are games where I do play the objective a lot. There are games where I don't do it a lot. This is one of those games where I don't play it at all. And I just pretty much... Uh, I'm the killer on the team, and I consider Domination to have... Uh, Domination, in my opinion, is the only main teamwork game uh, in this... Uh, teamwork game mode in this game, I should say. And mainly because you need different roles for this, and that sounds like something from Bad Company or Battlefield, but roles are really crucial in Domination. You need at least three people that are going to constantly get kills and keep people off of flags, and you're going to need three people that are always guaranteed to cap a flag and just pretty much play the objective for the whole game and they don't really care about their KD too much and I whenever I get a party of six uh, we establish those roles and it usually works out for the best and we always end up winning so I'm pretty sure it's a good effective way to win the game and in this game I was playing with a completely random party aside from I think one friend I'm not even sure if that was uh this is the same game my friend was in but and you guys are going to notice I'm fast forwarding the chopper gunners and stuff like that, mainly because you guys don't want to see me mashing down the right uh, the right button. But, um, yeah, but whenever you go into a game, I really, if you want to get better at Call of Duty, I recommend a few things to you. Definitely go with the best weapon, weapon uh, you're most comfortable with. Excuse me, I have to cough. <clears throat> 
So, um, definitely go into a game with the, you know, best weapon you can think of, the one you're most comfortable with, the one that you don't even really need a sight on because a silencer will be crucial to you. And I explained this in my How to Get a Nuke Easy video, but, um, it's also a really effective way to play any game mode, if you, especially if you want high KDs. Don't rush into spawn, that's really stupid in my opinion. You can get close to their spawn, don't uh, go so far into it though that you're going to mess up a spawn trap if you have one in Domination. And if you guys are not aware of what spawn traps are, then basically, if your team has two flags um, and the other team has the third flag, wherever that third flag spawns are, they're going to spawn in those areas and it's really predictable. It's going to help you get a lot of kills, it's going to help you... Um, make a better strategy and that's one thing that's why you guys need a really good team going into these games for communication uh, and communication is really key in this game not many people use it not many people take advantage of uh, you know the mics and all this stuff that is gonna really benefit them but whenever you get into a party it really does help attempt to do that and if you guys get into a party it's gonna help you out a lot more you guys might hear uh, tape being peeled off my um, my microphone right now because I just noticed it for some reason but um yeah guys just a couple things to get you better at Call of Duty I believe my I don't want to spoil it but I believe my second chopper gunner is about to come up really soon um and you guys could see just based off a of gameplay like this if you go to my channel and check out those gameplays you're gonna see that it's really effective it always works for me um my KD on Xbox Mainly because I only play Search and Destroy on Xbox. I believe it's a little bit over a 7. And I believe it on, P on PS3 since I've been playing that for a bit shorter. And I only play Domination and um, pretty much other game modes like this. Because you guys can see in the right bottom right corner of the gameplay that it's on PS3. Uh, my kill death is about a 2.50. And those are pretty nice KDs, guys. Um, and I know KD doesn't matter. A lot of people say it doesn't matter. It shows what kind of player you are and like how you approach the game basically it doesn't mean nothing it's obviously not going to affect your life um, you're not going to get more vagina because you have a 2.0 KD I'm not saying that I'm not intending that it's you know or saying that it's a, a really important thing I'm just saying that you know it shows what kind of player you are it shows how you approach games and that's something uh, some people look for uh, when they're recruiting for clans which I guess a lot of people do uh, they try to look at your KD they look at your win-loss my win loss is terrible, guys. Um, on PS3, I think it's like pathetic, but on Xbox, it's pretty decent. I think it's like a, a three or a four, and my kill, uh, my win loss on PS3 is like a point forty. So, don't judge me for that. I'm obviously not much of a team player on PS3. I play with like a couple friends occasionally, but I do play with more parties on Xbox. Unfortunately, my Xbox controller is messed up. And yeah, right here, guys, I'm in my second chopper gunner. Um. Again, I'm not sure if I get the nuke. I've been only going with the uh, Harrier and the Chopper Gunner so far. I may get the nuke. I'm not positive. But, uh, yeah, my Xbox controller is completely messed up and just pisses me off. And I really can't play on there too much. Um, not going to do no donation crap because I've seen a lot of people, uh, a lot of big names in this community that... Oh, yeah, and I do get a nuke right there. That's pretty cool. But uh, a lot of people in this community do actually, you know, att attempt to get money from subscribers when you know they're not really doing nothing to deserve it and i don't feel i deserve money guys um so i think the game's about to end um sorry for going off on a little like you know i kind of went off topic at points but you guys got to get used to that if you're gonna go check me out I tend to get off topic a lot peace guys um again my name is eddie um check out my channel link is in the description guys uh, and thank you to norgo hd uh, again man means a lot that you let me do this um enjoy the rest of the gameplay audio guys peace securing me enemy uav pilot